Hello ladies and gentlemen, a quick update for the uh, VVMI video. Now first of all, down in the video description section, there's a link next to VVMI. Click on it and it should open this GitHub page. Open the releases in a new tab and install the latest version, VVMI zip. Then close this, scroll down and open this in a new tab. And install x86. ARM64 might work too, but I think that's for mobile, so let's try this one. Then close this, go to your downloads folder and run the installer that you have to just downloaded. Click on I agree, install, click on yes, and set up successful, close. Okay, now, um, if you don't have an extractor, uh, download one, install one. Uh, you can install 7-zip, which is free, or you can install Vinrar if you want. Um, I'm going to um, leave the links for them down in the video description section. Now extract this somewhere convenient, not in your desktop, not in your OneDrive and not in your um, downloads folder. I'm going to extract it inside my D drive like this. Now open VVMI, uh, D3DX and under the loader, um, there is this launch path. Delete that path and you need to know where you have downloaded your game, where you installed it. You should be able to find it like this. Go to your Wuthering Waves launcher, uh, right click on it, open file location, scroll up, Wuthering Waves game, and click on client, binaries, Windows 64, and this is the main file. Now, in Windows 11, you can just right click. In Windows 10, you need to hold shift. First, you need to select it. Hold shift and right click, then click on copy as path. Then go back to Ring Waves game because we still need this. Paste the path that we have just copied and don't forget to delete these quotation marks like this and save the file. Then you can close it. Okay, now uh, we are done with this one. Now go to your client, saved, config, Windows No Editor, and engine.ini. Go back to the uh, website, to GitHub, and click on this icon here that will copy the text and paste it here down below, like this. Save the file, close it, and then you can close this folder as well. Now, what you need to do is downloading mods. I, for example, am going to uh, download a Genesee mod. Uh, I have a favorite, actually, Genesee Rosalind. It should come up, yeah. Okay, this one. Now make sure to read the description section of every mod because they may they might mention some um, important stuff. For example, the toggles. Oh man, I was like, hey man, this skin looks incredible. Could you please add a night no tights version? And he did it, mom. Oh, he has an image. Oh, nice. Okay, um, so read it. Make sure to read it. They mentioned the uh, toggle keys and some important notes. Uh. Okay, click on download, it will download it, and again, you will have to extract the mods. Maybe I should just let my intrusive thoughts win once, dude. Oh, it looks good. Okay, whatever. When you're done downloading it, um, go to your downloads folder, and then when you open it, um, you will have the mod in there. If you don't have the mod and instead you see like tons of stuff, create a folder inside your mods folder in VVMI yourself. Gen C, um, Rosaline, okay, and then copy them inside. But normally they have a folder by themselves. Okay, now we are ready to go. As last, you can right click on this and create a shortcut so that you can launch the game uh, from your desktop without having to open this folder. And now just click on VVMI, more info, run anyway, yes, and it should launch your game. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, it is working. Now, oh, I love mods, man. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, um, you can ask them down in the uh, comment section. However, if you have any problems or if you encounter an error, please create a post in the uh, support channel. If you liked the video, consider subscribing and leaving a like. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.